actually doing a charity race. It's called the Men's Health. No, it's the Men's Men's Health 10K, but it's the survival of the fittest. So during the 10K, there's a, a challenge at every kilometer, and uh, so I'm going to be trying to run all this and try and get a good time. The absolute elites do it in one hour. 10 minutes, um, which is quite a long time. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and do it for one and a half hours maybe. Um, and this is where it is, it's in Princess Street Gardens is where it's starting. Same place as where the rat race has been done in the past. And uh, I'll try and do some video footage as I'm running around the course. But I reckon it shouldn't be too difficult. It should be fairly easy. I've done a bit of training for it. It should be bad. Anyway, here goes. Okay, so this is me at the start line of Men's Health Survival of the Fittest and Dom's going to be starting probably in about 5 or 10 minutes and this is the start line up here and then he's going right down there to the hay bales and that's probably the first place he's going to die so I'll hopefully catch it on film See you later, bye! Here come the boys Okay, that's me done the first two kilometres, I think. Uh, now we've got a little bit of a challenge, like an army thing. And then after that, we're going to way up that mountain over there. <laughs> Liar. Uh, and uh, so far, it's going all right. Uh, keeping it nice and slow to try and keep the pace for the full 10k. But uh, let's see how I am after this. <laughs> Come on, Dom. No, no, not so. Over the line, Dom. Oh. Was that what I meant? PK style, PK style, Dom. be done about eight of the ten kilometers so far it's been really easy I don't think I've even broke a sweat yet yeah, we've been uh, sliding down a water slide we've been running through big tunnels getting soaked by the fire department as well they had uh, their hoses on us there's quite a few bits where you get to actually have a bit of a rest because uh, you're uh, you're waiting in queues for this so it's a good time to catch your breath get a little drink of water and then uh, get ready to bounce over this next bit Come on, Dom. Yay, well done, Dom. Not too much. Well done, Dom.
He's a real at the edge here. He's going to land on to get his composure. And he's going to jump from the seven foot bar. Come on, Dom! Come on, Dom! Come on! Come on! And his drinks count. Well, and he makes it look so easy. Okay, Brett, pulling out a few breaks. Go ahead, Okay, that's me just finished the men's health 10k survival of the fittest. Got my little medal there and handed in my timing chip for getting my times. Don't find that out until tomorrow on the website. But I think I did it in about an hour and a half, which is really what I was hoping to get and was looking to do. Uh, it's quite good. Um, all events, uh, all the little tricks were. All, uh, all the little, all the little obstacles in the during the course. Is that filming me, Kim? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay. All the little obstacles during the course uh, kind of helped break up quite a bit. But the last bit at the end, you had to go way up near the castle uphill, which was a real struggle. And then you also had the bit with the uh, eight foot wall, which was really a bit difficult if you didn't have any grip on your hand. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't too too difficult. Uh, if you go at a slow enough pace, it's all right. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, it's it's quite fun, and I recommend everyone to give it a go and uh, give money to charity. So see you there. Bye.